And now we gotta mine 50 blocks. Don't throw a bomb like that. Actually, you know what? You're, you're welcome to throw a bomb if you want to show them what bombs do. Go ahead, yeah. Let's check it out. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up the Neocubist here? Welcome to my brand new prison server. We're gonna be playing prisons today. It's a new server on my server, network, Neo Network. You can join IPs at the top of the screen. I would skip ahead because I'm gonna wait for more people to join into the stream before I start actually playing. So it's gonna ask me, do you wanna learn the basics? And here's the thing guys, if you're gonna be starting my prison server and you don't know how to play, you don't know the point, definitely click yes on here go inside this tutorial area and do slash HP and you can hide the players and then you're just gonna want to start reading all this so the gold prison is to get as much money and gang score as you can if you forget anything here remember you can always do the tutorial so I already know how to play so I'm not gonna read through all this but we spent a long long time making this tutorial for you guys so you're gonna start out in here and you may not know what to do, okay? It says to begin playing, use the slash quest command to rank up and prestige. So we're gonna do that just now. We're literally gonna do slash Q, which is shorthand for quests. You can type in either one. And you can see at the top of the screen, we are quests and it says parentheses P0. So we're prestige one or zero, sorry. So we need to go speak to criminal Johnson. Okay, it says mine 10 blocks, use the quest command. So we're gonna do slash mine or you can go you can always go back to this room by doing slash hideout and clicking this little pearl right here. And then you can walk over to your little uh, phaser for the mine. It'll take you to your mine and you can just start mining. And we're just going to do slash Q and we're just gonna start running through it. So this is harvest 10 crops now, use the hideout command. So we're gonna do slash farms. This is gonna take us to our farm. And you can see we have potatoes, it's pretty sweet. We already harvest 10, so you can see your farm will regrow every 21 minutes, that was fixed. So it'll just grow back whenever it's done. So you can go in here, you can earn E tokens and XP. So you can see that there's four currencies on the right side of the screen. Every single one of those is explained if you just go through all the quests. Now you see how a bunch of them broke? I think that's because of, I think that's the explosive. Yeah, that's the explosive enchant which you can also upgrade all these. Like eventually you get so OP and you can earn so much money. Dude, I have $91. I'm ready to not have, oh dude, that was so much stone. That was $395, let's go. And you can see right here, your mine is obviously not just gonna be stone forever. As you prestige, your mine will increase in quality. And you can also increase the size if you want. So it can be as big as all the way over there. So yeah, you can upgrade the size here. You can see when I mine, Oh, it says at the bottom eight out of 1000 after the stone that's your size of backpack which you can upgrade with slash bp so i'm gonna buy the first one here which costs zero e tokens the second one which costs 50 sorry and now it's 5,000 blocks which is really cool so we'll go to slash spawn and if you guys want to come say hi to me you can feel free to come say hi to me there's tons of cool stuff in spawn including uh, all these little uh little astronaut NPCs, but we can go up here and do something very special. So we're gonna go and we're gonna start doing some fishing. Who just stole that legendary fish? Who just, oh, I have hide players on. Who stole my legendary fish? Which one of you was it? Yeah, I think that was you. You stole my legendary fish, didn't you? <laughs> and then when, once you're done fishing, you just right click on this bad boy. We sold him for 49,000. And whenever you're ready to go back to your own personal hideout, now keep in mind, you can play this multiplayer and play with all your friends, which makes it even more special. And now we gotta mine 50 blocks. Don't throw a bomb like that. Actually, you know what? You're, you're welcome to throw a bomb if you wanna show them what bombs do. Go ahead, yeah. Let's check it out. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. <laughs> so you can earn those, which are pretty cool. That's one of our developers. Thanks for popping it. Always good to see friendly faces around here. And you can, <laughs> you can earn mine bobs from playing. And uh, since I didn't use it, obviously, it's not going to like give me any of this stuff, but it'll put it directly into your backpack. Earn five E tokens and use the enchant command. I think the best way is to go to your farm if you need to earn quick E tokens or go to your ore chunk. Your ore chunk, obviously, is just going to basically instantly like, look, there we go. There's five E tokens. That's already done. Let's go to mine. It says we need to earn how much? One gang score from mining. So we're just going to have to mine for a little bit. Every time you prestige, you get something called a prestige token. And you can see I have two of them here. I like to click on, there's three categories, grinding mobs that you can put them in, universal ones. And you can go through these and see all the bonuses. But I'm always interested in this one right here. So this adds a 0.2 times cell multiplier per level. Okay, what's the next quest? Oh, it's a prestige. Let's go. 
Oh, dude, we have the gold pickaxe. Look at this. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I feel so good. Are we already full backpack? Look, that's 11,000. See that cell multiplier at work. Okay. Oh, dude. I'm feeling that feeling when I first started playing Skyblock, where I feel like I can't get off. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. I really hope the mine never resets. My goal is to one day be able to mine the whole mine. And you can upgrade everything here. For example, you can upgrade all of these things in the mine. So for $500,000, you can add a 0 0.02 times cell multiplier per upgrade. Now, obviously, since I'm only one person, <laughs> I don't really think I'm going to be able to, like, ever get to the edge over there. Like, ugh, it's pretty far away. So I think I'll stick with this little teeny tiny mine in the middle for right now. Maybe once we get overpowered a little bit more, we'll start to get something bigger. So I earn currently 484 e-tokens per day and then 55 million per day, 2 million per hour. And that's just from my one prestige servant. So we're going to go ahead and open him. But the cool thing is about these servants, since they're in your inventory, you can collect them all at once. So we click collect all. We got three e-tokens and $400,000. Let's go, dude, 400K. Um, oh, this says use the pet command, which is perfect because it just gave us a pet egg. So we got a crab pet. So let's do slash pets. And let's look at our owned pets. Oh, this is a 7% e-token boost. So we're going to put it on by just clicking it. And you can see it'll go into your pet cage. You can also buy more slots for your pet cage in here. So you can have more than one pet equipped at once. You can also save presets, which I don't really need to do. Now you can see it gave me a spawner. And you're wondering, why is it giving me a spawner on prison? Well, if you do slash mobs, you can actually go in here and you can put your spawner down. Now we're going to do slash kits. And we're going to choose the free kit. And we can start to kill these mobs. Now, I'm going to put up most of this stuff because I really don't need a lot of it. What is this? 60 e-token. No. Oh, and you can redeem that like every week too. Or every 24 hours maybe. But either way, I'm pretty sure that's what the quest is. Yeah, it's kill mo kill five mobs and place a spawner. Now, unfortunately, if I wanted to buy another spawner, I think they're about, yeah, they're about $5 million. But you can see in here, they're all the same price because they all give you the same thing. And uh, grinding mobs is a good way to make a little bit of money, but you can also find boss fragments. You can find animal crates, stuff like that. But I'm going to go back to the dungeons. We're going to go to floor one. So you may be wondering, like, what do you do when you get here? And to be honest with you, it's not the best about explaining it because it doesn't say anything. You, you just join here. But I think your best bet is to talk to good old Johnny over here. Now, Johnny is telling me do slash dungeon quest to view your quest. So you can see we don't have any other quests. So we need to speak to John, Joseph, Katie, Rock, and Sherlock. I guess the rock is somewhere around here. Okay, and also I'd recommend doing slash NV when you're in here just so it gets a little bit brighter. So we're going to go talk to all these people. So here's Rock. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and give him a chat. So he can enhance items, which is really cool. I don't know how that works, but I assume it'll be explained. Craft items, a few recipes, broadswords, katanas. Ooh, dude. Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay, wh what about broadsword? What if I want a cobblestone broadsword? What do I need? A bunch of cobblestone and a bunch of wood. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be sure to come back here. And you can also reforge items. I assume they have, like, some sort of stats whenever you create them. So zombies will just kind of randomly spawn in here. And you can see this is kind of like the wilderness. And I believe you get to floor two by going down in there. Now, I think if we went there, I don't know if we can, but if we did go there, we would get wrecked. So we probably shouldn't try. So obviously this is the crates area. You can also, you can open vote crates. So you don't have to pay any money at all. You just do slash vote. It'll give you four links to open. And all you have to do is enter your Minecraft username. And if you're on bedrock, make sure you put that asterisk. So mine is the Neo Cubist alt. And let's go ahead and open our first uh, vote key. Let's hide players for right now. You guys can do that all the time, by the way. If your players ever annoy you, just do slash HP. So yeah, the season just started yesterday, so I highly encourage you to come check it out. Oh, look, we got some mind bombs, dude. So it's a ton of fun to vote because you can get some cool stuff. I'm going to say that one's mid, but it's, it's still all right. We got 150 E tokens added to my balance. That is, ooh, unbreaking one. I should put that on my sword. No, it doesn't break as much. Now it has unbreaking four. I can see someone is trying to shoot me with a trident, but I can't really see them. There's tons of cool crates in here. You guys should come check them out if you want. But keep in mind, you don't have to pay anything to play. You can just play. Honestly, guys, just go to the slash hub, which is really cool. You guys should check this out for sure if you guys haven't seen it. All custom built. I made sure to tell the builder I want a big blue orchid. And she gave me a big blue orchid. That's pretty cool. Overgrown blue orchids. Be careful. Oh, no. 
Okay, better avoid these. Anyways, whenever you're ready, you can either come back and just click on the prison or you can click on the server selector and click on prison. We got two big servers. So if you guys want to hop on Skyblock or prison, either one works. You know, let's not go in the cave. Let's try to do the quest, man. I said I wanted to come here and grind dungeons and I look what I have not done. Because that pet merchant was there and I would have liked to have buy some cool pets or something. But I couldn't. I didn't have access. <laughs> we'll see if I can glitch out of the map, man. I'm going to try to go up here. Ugh. There's got there's there's got to be a way, man. Let's go, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Let's see let's see how far we can take this. Oh, we got on the mountains, dude. Let's go. Hey, there's something back there. What happens if you go off the edge of the map? Maybe we shouldn't find that out. It's probably just not a good idea. We'll see. When you're fishing, I think the best thing to do is just to hide players. It's gonna be your best option. But like I said, you can only if you half cock your trident back, it does the same thing as if you hold it down all the way. So you can fish way faster than you think. You can get a lot more fish. Let's go. We just got a piece of bait. Put that on. Try to catch a piece of fish. And look at that, dude. We just got 1,100 XP. So if we need to catch 500 fish, I have a feeling I can actually do this pretty easy. Yeah, we got the legendary. Let's go, dude. Now, obviously, it doesn't go as far or shoot as straight like when you, you know, shoot it halfway. But to be honest with you, you don't really ever need it to go like super far unless you're like actually far away like that. Like I'm trying to snipe them. But it seems to work out pretty well either way. Why do people do that? People like walk up to me and they'll just go like. I mean, it's like, why do people do that? Like, I don't know if anyone's had that done to them in the game. It's just like, I don't know. What's the point? Like, okay, you did that, cool. Can I fly in the fishing area? Oh, so I can just fly underwater. That makes this so much easier. <laughs> just fly around like this. No, I, I, I wanna be fair, I wanna be fair. And certain ranks can fly, but it really isn't helpful. I mean, even in fishing, man, it's really not that helpful. But there is that is a perk of one of the ranks, is you can fly. Everyone's in here fishing, man. I should not have come. Every time I say I'm going to start fishing and I start fishing, everyone comes to the fishing area. Now, look, it's just flooded with all these people fishing. Far away are we from the fishing one. 153. Yeah, this would take a long time, but that's okay. It's something to grind toward, and you get like a premium crate key from it. Yeah, how much was this? That was two mil. Let's go. All right, guys. Well, have fun fishing. I'm going to go back to my mine. No! Let me mine my mine! No, dude, I need to mine my mine. The <laughs> guy was like, why'd you waste them, dude? <laughs> uh. <laughs> so this is the big mine, and we have a lot more journey to go. Well, thank you guys for watching today's stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy Neo Network. And I would love to see you around on the server. Thank you guys for playing. And I will see you guys in episode two of the prison live streams. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.